Hey guys, it's KK. I hope you all are doing well. So tonight's layout is featuring this kit that has some bits from a Gossamer Blue kit as well as some bits from my stash. And I haven't used this kit in a while, so I'm kind of just going through and organizing, getting like items separated into stacks so I can see what I think I will use on my layout. Now originally I think about using this black and white camera print along with that purple cardstock to frame it, but then I think about the photo that I'm going to be scrapping and I realize that that's probably not the direction I want to go. So as I'm thumbing through this, I run across this white and red striped paper. So I take a look at the back side and I realize, oh, I really love this side. And I lay the photo against it and I realize it's not going to work, so I kind of start thinking, Oh, maybe I could cut the center out and maybe I could use it, but let's be honest, I haven't used it up until this point. I just need to use it. So I abandon that and I decide that that's what I'm going to use for my background and I pull just a couple of other sheets of stuff that I think I can use on this layout. And I'm just pulling aside anything that I think I'm not going to use and putting it aside and things that I think I will use, keeping them to hand. So once I've decided on all the papers and I'm going to use that white and red background or pattern paper for my background rather, I go ahead and start building my layer. And for me, this is kind of a go-to design. When I have one single photo, I often will use an L-shape layout, meaning that I use pattern paper to create this kind of L shape in the middle of it. That way I can just kind of nestle my photo in between the two where, where the two intersect. And I find that's a really easy design for me to work with. I don't have a problem building up around the, the photograph when I do that. So that's what I do here. I just create the L with that yellow chevron and the black and white polka dot. And I'm going to map my photo with some purple cardstock. And I'm just going to put it right there in the middle. So now that I've got the photograph down, I want to go ahead and add one more thing. And it's this border strip that I used um, an EK Success punch to create. And I really just want to add the aqua in there. And that's because I see the embellishments in some of the journaling cards and they have some aqua in there. So I think it's always easier to add a color in earlier than later. And so I go ahead and just add that pop of aqua. And even if that's the only bit that I use, I'm okay with that. I don't mind having so many colors on a page. So I bring in this journaling card that has the yellow. It also has some purple at the bottom right hand side. And it has the red in the print or in the wording. So it's kind of marrying everything together. And I just have a little bit of that border strip left. So I just add it up there at the top left so I can create my other embellishment cluster up there. I use an EK Success Punch to punch this label out of some gray um, cardstock. It was actually a journaling card that I went ahead and just punched. And so since I've got everything down where I kind of want it, I decide that it's time for me to go ahead and do my title. I've got everything that's really important to me down. I've got my journaling block, the title, and the photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and start embellishing. Now down here you see me faffing with this container and all that has in it is baby powder. And so I use that paintbrush to kind of paint on the back of this sticker so I can lay it down without having it adhere to anything and move it around if I want to. And I'm going to do that on a couple of things here because as I was working I really wasn't sure about where I was going to place things. So I just kind of dust it off and put some baby powder on the back of these items so that if I don't like them I can move them and I don't have any problem getting my adhesive to stick to them or adhere them to the page. So I come back in with some washi and I've added some behind the word book in the title just to give it somewhere to rest and I wanted to bring it back up to the top because I thought that pop of orange would tie some other things together because there's orange in the two flare. Now once I get that done, I notice this little spot over here that I want to add some embellishment to and I just add like a little label there. And I'm coming in with these little hearts, they're acrylic and they were from a Gossamer Blue Kit. And I don't really think they're the right yellow for this, but it's close enough and it doesn't bother me so I decide I'm going to go ahead and use them. So once I get those laid out kind of in the design that I want to, I decide I have one more little spot that I'd really like to do something. And that's right up here on the right side of that journaling card. So I'm just going to add a Teresa Collins sticker as well as one of those label punches up there to the top. I'm going to top it off with one of the flare and call it done. Now I'm going to go back to each of the clusters and just add one more little thing to them and it's some purple enamel dots. 
So once I get this sprinkled about the page, I realize I have one more thing that I'd like to add. And of course, you know what it is, my mist. So once I get the mist on there, I'm completely done with the page and I call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you all again very soon. And until next time, take care.